Hey girls, it's Friday and I'm yellow because I'm filming in the kitchen and I'm drinking tea. Life is good. So I said I would talk about Ireland today and that's what I'm gonna do. I was there in Dublin for four days with a friend. Um, we didn't get to see all of the things we would have liked to see, like we didn't even get to see any castles at all, which I know sucks, but um, we <laughs> didn't plan our trip very well. So we ended up finding out in the last minute that the castle was closed on the day we were going to go to visit it, Malahide Castle. So we didn't go there in the end, but we did we we did see some really interesting stuff like um Kilmainham Jail, which is where they filmed part of In the Name of the Father and some other films. It's an old jail and it's really impressive when you see it. Oh my god. They also had um a guided tour and it was awesome too. Awesome. Um but mostly what's really cool about Dublin is just walking around because it's a really nice city um, lots of neoclassical buildings and the old Dublin, Viking Dublin it's all really pretty to see and it's nice to walk about yeah also, oh my god I found a chapters well, we don't have chapters in Spain and and it was such a huge bookstore. The whole upstairs floor was second hand books and I wanted to kill myself because I, I was flying with Ryanair and I was not allowed to check in any luggage, only hand luggage and my bag was already full so I could only buy one book but I would have bought so many things books and music. I did buy some CDs as well which I'm gonna show you right now. This is called In My African Dream by... it's the very... the best of Johnny Clegg and Savuka again South African music. Buzzcocks. It was it was six euros. And some Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds. The Good Song. There's a song in here, the ship song. It's one of my favorite songs ever. <sighs> Melissa, have a really, really happy third anniversary with Corey. And don't eat any blenderized cakes ever again, please. Anna, Lania and I have decided to um, stay away from chocolate for a while. Sort of a competition, let's see who can go without chocolate the longest. I don't think this will be very difficult for me because I like chocolate but um, I'm not addicted to it. So, as long as I got my tea, no problem. Maggie, I think you, your choice is the right one. I, I know going to France is not something you can do every year, but um, but I understand that right now you want to go with your friends and it's a great chance and Europe is always going to be there. Alinea, I completely understand your arguments for not drinking. In fact, I think your arguments are the most sensitive arguments. Sensible arguments. <laughs> I keep mixing up mixing up those words, right? Your arguments are the most sensible ones I've ever heard for not drinking alcohol. Um, you totally know what you want, and I think I've mentioned this before, but that is good for you. Very, very good for you. I'm done now. Anna, I'll see you on Monday.